Welcome to Therian Nation, a source for educational material and history of the Therian Throbe community. We have another special video today, courtesy of Wolf Mage. When we visited him in North Dakota for the May 2017 Howell and interview, he provided us with a copy of his radio interview from October 31st, 2000. To our knowledge, this piece of Therian history had been lost and unavailable until now. This recording was provided to us as a contribution to share with the community. Tell us, tell us about you a little bit. Well, we're just uh, we're a group of people that all over the world, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, the definition varies on the individual, but we can all agree that aware has a very deep bond or connection with our animal spirit, mm -hmm. and we just go from there. So, you know, we, we hear the stories about, you know, people changing. They, you know, they go through a trans, uh, transconfiguration or transmorphification. I mean, is that true? Is that, does that happen? I, I've, uh, of all my experiences, I haven't, I haven't seen it happen. Most of it's just Hollywood hype. Right. You now it's to sell movies and yeah. costumes and everything like that. Now, is there any time that, that you're closer to the animal spirit? or to the wolf spirit? There, there's sometimes, I mean, you, you feel uh, quiet, uh, uh, reserved. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to be around people. Right. And uh, I know the full moon has a little bit of effect on us, but not all that that Hollywood makes us think so. But uh, we get uh, a bit excited and stuff on the full moon. It feels real good. Go out and play and hang out and party? Yeah, and how? And <laughs> how? Do like you that. really? Yeah. Interesting. Well, now, where are we in the moon cycle right now? Uh, right now, I'd have to look. Okay. <laughs> I've been busy lately. You've been busy. I bet you bet you have. Uh, uh, I've got to take a quick break. Can you hang on with me for a few sure. minutes? Sure. Okay, good. 35 minutes after 3 o'clock, we have Wolf Mage on the line, a werewolf calling in. And uh, if you have any questions or you want to get a closer bond to your animal spirit, give us a call, 534-1010, Utah County, 470-1010, Weaver, Davis, 670-1010. You're listening to News Radio, AM 1010, KIQ, Smart Radio. We'll be right back. Spending time with Wolf Mage, who's a werewolf, and uh, in fact, Wolf Mage, didn't you used to live in Salt Lake? No, I've uh, visited out there. Oh, you visited. Times, though. Now, now, how long have you known that that you were a werewolf, or that you were you were part of this spirit? Well, uh, it, it, I've known like pretty much all my life, but it, I've just really gotten into it. It just hit me when I was about 15 years old. Right. Now, when you were a kid, did you did you dress up in Halloween costumes and go out? Yes, and I did. What now? I mean, knowing that you you sort of had a an inner body thing that was a little bit different than everybody else, did you feel strange getting dressed up for Halloween? No, just you know, just I was just, just like a regular kid going around candy, 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 and right. Now, is there is there anything that 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 upsets a wolf, a werewolf, more than other things? Uh, that would depend on the individual, right? Because. Uh, one's tolerance for certain things may be different from another's. Like, uh, there are certain times when I, I get real uh, weirded out, I could say, by uh, groups of large people, you know, in real public places when it's crammed full and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, others may be used to that. And, and But there's no, there's no problem with werewolves walking among other people, right? No, we're just like anybody else. You're just normal people. Yeah. But you have a proclivity for the animal spirit. Correct. The wolf spirit. Now we were talking. You, you howl. You said. Yes. Does does do you have like a pack that you hang out with where you live? Uh, I'm pretty much the only one here where I live right now. Oh really? But uh, there's uh, all over the world. Like I said, there's uh, werewolves mm -hmm. and other wares. Right. And uh, we have uh, groups in each. Uh, like there's a uh, say there's a. Uh, four or five down in Florida that hang out together. They could call themselves a pack. Right. And then there's some that live, like, across the United States that uh, get together and meet every year. And depends on how close you are, you can call yourself a pack or just friends. Right. We're just friends, sure. That, that, yeah. always, that always works. <laughs> yeah, we're just friends. We're not a pack. We're just friends. Uh, now, can you tell another werewolf when when you're near him or her? Not really. No. So, so you don't know. I mean, it's not like a presence because, 
Yeah, people that that, that there, have. Sometimes you can. Sometimes they they just uh, give off that air that you can tell. Oh mm -hmm. man, he's one. He's trying to be one. Or, uh, but other times, you know, you find out by just talking to someone and finding out their interests, and that you find out that you have something in common. Now, is this something that if you have children that you pass along to them, mm. or do they not get that? I'm not sure. I haven't really. Uh, you don't have children. Looked obviously. into that <laughs> aspect of it. Right now, I mean, is it is it is it is it okay if you? I mean, is it better to marry another person who has the the wear sense, or does it it doesn't not really matter? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's, as long as the other person. Uh, they can be where they can, you know, as long as they have an open mind, things will work out. Right. Okay. Well, we have a phone call. We have Mike on the line from Salt Lake. Michael, how are you? Well, not bad. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. We have uh, Wolf Mage on the line who is a werewolf who's connected with his animal spirit. Do you have a question? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering uh, what characterizes a werewolf and, and how he actually knew he was a werewolf. Well, uh... It could be uh, linked to uh, your, your religion or whatever belief you have. Like, I, uh, I'm a Christian, and I still believe in uh, some aspects of shamanism. So, totem animals. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the wolf spirit, uh, I went on a little meditation one night, and the wolf spirit came to me and helped me out along my path. Uh, helped me figure out what I was. and some It, it differs... Sometimes it can just hit you, hey, you know, I'm different, uh, I like this and that, and they plant, they uh, label themselves werewolves. But then there's others that, that you feel a deep connection to the wolf. And it's just like whenever you go out to the wolf parks and stuff, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff to the wolf parks, and you get in the cage with the wolf and you, you can just feel the connection with them. Now, do, can you communicate with them, or, or I mean, do you share no. a howling or anything like that? Well, depends on them. We can howl at them. They might look at us funny, but <laughs> they just don't speak the same language, right? Right. Okay. Mike, do you have any other questions? So, so this is like a totem kinship. Yes, it can be described as that. All right. So it's not like it's not like you're turning into something or anything. No, like we're not like a Hollywood style. No, we're not okay. physically shape shifting. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good because then, then, then the kids that are out there listening um, are not afraid tonight when they go to bed and you know, they suddenly hear a howl or something like that. No, we're not out to get them. Right, they're not out to get them. That's, that's important they know that. You yes. Know, you know, Hollywood is, has glamorized this so much that you know we, we see Michael J. Fox turning into as an American werewolf in London or something like that. You know? Yeah, and Teen that, Wolf, the party wolf. Yeah, Teen Wolf, sure, <laughs> they, you know, they, they get all that. and. It just doesn't make sense to me. Now, have you been to any of the meetings, or, or I mean, is there like a, a, a were society or a werewolf society? Well, it, it, we have a what we label a community online, where a bunch of us get together. We have different places we meet, and then there's uh, where we actually physically meet each other mm -hmm. at campouts and stuff. Called Hal's. <laughs> They're called Hal's. Yeah, that's what the, orig yeah. originally put, I guess. Huh? I don't know uh, who originally came up with that. But. <laughs> It probably because of the sound. Now, can can you do a howl for us, or is that is that forbidden? Uh, I can do one. I don't know how good it may be. Just well, it's I mean, it's your howl. I mean, it's, yeah. You know, you everybody. I guess like everyone's voice, it's a little bit different. And you know, what does your howl sound like? Okay, give me a second here. Okay. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Oh sure. Ow. Wow. That's pretty serious. Yeah. That would scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> <laughs> if I heard that, if I heard that outside my door, I'd be a little concerned. We're we'll have to get a track of that for you and uh, and record it. You ever thought about that? I mean, you know. Well, I have, I have some recordings of my house. Oh, you do? Yeah. Now, do you, do you I mean, do you advertise this, so you, you know, like on a website or anything? If you have I questions? have a website. There ain't much on it. It's just some poetry of mine that relates with the wolf spirit. Oh, you do? And a couple links. You want to throw it out so people can, can check it out? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Give it to us. It's at uh, www.coyotes.org mm -hmm. uh, backslash the little tilde mm -hmm. and then wolf mage. Okay. That's W-O-L-F-M-A-G-E. Correct. Okay. 
That's my site. And that's your site, so people can go there and check it out? Yeah. All right. There's many places online that people can go and get uh, history and uh, stuff like that on wares. Right. Well, it's, it's all new to me, I tell you. 49, i got to take a quick break. You want to stick around for a couple minutes? Sure. Okay, 49 minutes after 3 o'clock. Bob Madrid, AM 1010 KIQ, Smart News Radio. And we're talking with Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Mage. A lot of W's there. He was a werewolf. And uh, he's explaining a little bit about the were spirit. Salt Lake City Lines, 534-1010. Utah County, 470-1010. Weber, Davis, 670-1010. We'll be right back. Behind the news and in front of the views. With Bob Madrid, AM 1010, KIQ, Smart News Radio. If you want to give us a call, you have a question for Wolf Mage, a werewolf. The number for Salt Lake City is 534-1010. Utah County, 470-1010. Weber, Davis County, 670-1010. Listen to the news radio, Smart Radio. And now, Wolf Mage, uh, where do you live now? I'm in Illinois. Oh, you're in Illinois. Okay. Yes. Now, I mean, you know, it just it just amazes me because I know that people go through this spirit and you know they they connect and they have out of body experiences and mm -hmm. you know they they talk to other people. I mean, what what is it that 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 happens to you? I mean, you you said that you have howlings and, and you know, you will howl. What does the howling do for you? Oh, well, it, it, it helps relieve stress first of all. Right. Feel pent up and stuff. You just howl and. It helps you out, and it just, it, it feels good. Howling makes you feel good. Howling makes you feel good, okay. Yeah. Well, I work out in the speed bag. That does the same thing, so. Okay. Um, people get together, and, or sorry, people get together, but, you, you know, you, you you contact. I mean, you do you talk to other wolves, or is it, you know, like, how does the wolf spirit work? Because it's just something that I don't understand. You know, it's, it's people have, like I said, people have a connection to it. Mm -hmm. We have a connection to him. And it's something that we feel we're wolf on the inside. Right. Now, how okay. how long are, do you do you know? How, I mean, how long has this spirit been out there? Or has it always been there? It's always been there. Any any? I mean, does it does it prophesy anything or tell you what's going to happen in the future or tell you how you're living your life? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just says. Uh, it says, okay, here you are. You're... Sometimes we, we may have, some of us may have uh, some sort of set sense about uh, danger, you know, something's going to happen, stay away, f don't do something on a certain day, or uh, tell us, you know, some, get that gut feeling that we shouldn't be doing something, that something might happen. Right. But it's nothing really magical or anything about it. Do, do you have a sixth sense? No. No. <laughs> you just uh, just have the wolf spirit in you. Yeah. Interesting. That's now, What are you going to do tonight for Halloween? Anything? Tonight, I'm going to class. Oh, you're going to class? Yeah. Are you in school full-time? or? Uh, yeah, I'm in college. Well, I'm uh, going to college full-time, and then I got a part-time job. Okay. Hmm, what are you studying? Uh, for a network technician. Oh, okay. Not, not, I thought maybe you were studying, you know, like uh, something with animals. I wouldn't. I, I'd like to do that, but I'm just uh, getting my foot in the door right now for a good job. Right. Yeah, you probably make more unless you're a veterinarian. Although some veterinarians don't make a lot of money, and, uh, at least we have the title of doctor on there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anything you want to add before we uh, before we get out of here, Wolf Mage? Well. Uh... I know some fellow wearers are listening to this. Just okay. want to say hi to all of them. Are they listening to us on the web? Yes. Okay. www.kiq1010.com? Yep. Okay. I pointed that out to them. And just, if there's any, uh, anybody has any questions, my email address should be on my web page. If okay. they want to email me, go right ahead. Okay. Do you, do you want to send out a howl to your friends before we uh, get out of here? Sure. Okay. Give us a howl. Wow, that's scary. That's good, though. I, I like that. I like that. Well, thanks for coming on the air, and uh, have a good time at class tonight. 
Sure. Anytime you want to do it again, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. Wolf Mage out of Illinois who's a werewolf, and he was sending out a hello to his uh, other wolves. 56 minutes after 3 o'clock, you're listening to AM 1010 KIQ News Radio, Smart Radio. Thanks again to Wolf Mage, who offered this recording to us so that we can make it available to the community again for educational and historical purposes. To our viewers and listeners, we hope that you've enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments, and if you'd like to learn more, subscribe by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching.